Hi guys, it's Gillian Nelson with Studio Calico, and today I'm going to show you my process from start to finish when scrap lifting a layout. I recently took part in a scrap lift challenge on the message boards, and I got the pleasure of scrap lifting Jackie Rodriguez, or username GoldenBlind221. I absolutely loved this page of hers um, floating on Cloud9, and I'm going to show you how she inspired me. I knew I wanted to replicate Jackie's polka dot background and I decided to do this using an old Heidi Swamp mask and some white Mr. Hueys, which I just poured out into a little tray and I used a, a foam sponge and just went to town. Okay, and now that I finished masking off my polka dot background, I want to give the cardstock a good spray with some of this super surface sealer that's available in the Studio Calico shop. And that'll just help set the white Mr. Huey and keep it from rubbing off all over your hands and page protector. So while my polka dot background is drying from the super sealer, I'm gonna go ahead and start inking some of the elements on my page. Now for this page, I'm using the Studio Calico Atlantic line, and specifically the Bridgeport, Portsmouth, Atlantic City, and Montauk papers. I had cut several nines ahead of time using my Cameo machine, and now I'm going to ink around each of those nines with a Sharpie marker. I loved how Jackie used um, that large rectangle of cloud vellum on her cloud nine layout. And so my nod to that was to um, measure out a vellum photo mat for my picture. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball some measurements here and pencil in lightly, and then trim it up to size using my handy dandy guillotine trimmer here doesn't have to be too perfect. I just want to be able to soften the edges around the photo and um, pay homage to uh, the softness of Jackie's layout and how she used her vellum. So I'm just going to find the right spot. Oh, but wait, I have to ink it. I don't know what it is. I just really think that inking the edges of the elements on my pages just help to kind of set everything apart and help each element pop. And it's a habit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my photo using my this to that glue runner and uh, put it on the vellum photo mat and then try and find a good home for it there on the page. Jackie's design was pretty central on her background paper and I really admired that and was thinking I was going to go that direction too but I tend to be a little off center in my everyday life and I have a really hard time doing anything centralized. <laughs> I ended up off to the right side of my page. Now it's just a matter of finding the right home for the various nines that I have cut out. Um, and it may look like I'm I'm just coming up with it on the fly, but what you guys can't see is that my iPhone is just sitting 
outside of my shot here and I have taken several pictures of the page as I was practicing putting it together and I do that frequently where um, I'll take pictures of of the design I've got going on and I refer back to it once I have everything inked and ready to stick down. So continuing with Jackie's Cloud 9 theme, I'm using some of that beautiful printed vellum from the Studio Calico Atlantic line. And I cut out several sizes of cloud shapes using my Cameo. And I'm just playing now, finding just the right homes for each of the little clouds. And once I see, yeah, I'm liking where they're living, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my nines to the page. And I'm going to do so just with a very little bit of adhesive because I like to have some of my edges um, coming up off the page just a little bit for some dimension and texture. So I'll just run my fingers around the edges of the nines a little bit to help pop them up and keep them loose so that I can tuck in other elements like the clouds. I'm planning on stapling the clouds, but this guy on the right I'll use glue since it'll be covered up by the nine. Nice. So you'll see while I thought I was still filming, I got my cloud stapled on. I got my journaling over on the right hand side. Um, I adhered these great um, Studio Calico wood veneer circles using my handy dandy Martha Stewart pen. And now I'm adding some of the really pretty gold sparkly star stickers from also from the Studio Calico Atlantic collection. You'll see I got an arrow stapled on there on the right hand side. Um, that's from the Atlantic Vellum Die Cuts pack. Um, and down at the bottom left, I've added some of the notebook thickers from the Studio Calico here in their collection. Thought they complemented the white over on the right hand side of the layout really nicely. So I wanted to carry Jackie's Cloud9 theme um, a little bit further, and I looked to the blue ombre thickers from the Sun Drifter Studio Calico line, and I thought they complemented the blues in the Atlantic line really nicely. So I sprinkled a few different nines from that thickers pack around the page, because come on, can a Cloud9 page really have too many nines or too many clouds? I don't think so. So turning back to the notebook thickers from the Here and There collection, I'm going to add um, initials for myself and my handsome husband up there at the top of the journaling. And I'm going to grab another um, one of the blue ombre thickers from the Sun Drifter line to use um, for my ampersand to kind of balance out the blue nines over on the right hand side. Fix that wonky little S there. And there you have it. Jackie, I have been so inspired by your beautiful Cloud9 layout, and I really appreciate you letting me um, use your page for my video. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, anyone, feel free to message me or leave me a comment on the blog.